to show you how to draw horses using shapes. Drawing is not an easy thing. It's not something you just wake up one day and do, unless you're a savant. But I, I believe drawing is just a language. It's a way of learning to communicate. And the way that you learn is by practicing. So I would just want to show you some easier ways to practice than I learned as a, as a child. I figured out the drawing system on my own. I did not have someone teach me how to draw. Yes, I did go to college for art. It was because I had a love for it, and I, I spent most of my time drawing as a child. But they didn't teach me how to draw in college. I was given assignments and told to do the assignment. I was not taught how to draw. They didn't teach me how to do perspective or any of that. This is all stuff that I learned on my own, reaching out, looking for for ways of doing things better, uh, trial and error, reading books, looking at other artists, uh, just like being my own sleuth, not realizing that's what I was doing. It was just a love that I had and a thirst that I couldn't get enough of. So I just want to give you some basic ideas. One of the things that I do when I'm looking at something is I squint my eyes and it helps me to blur out this, the, all of the, the complicated fine points in it. It helps me to blur it out. And when I say squint my eyes, I just take my eyelashes and I, I blur my vision. I kind of crunch my eyes together and blur my vision so I can just see the basic idea of the image. It helps me to flatten the image out so it's not three-dimensional. And I do that when I'm drawing from real life also. I love to draw from real life. Um, so squinting is one way of doing it to help me to blur out those other details that are just they're just complicated so when I want to simplify it I squint my eyes now what I do is I also look at the object as in circles so you you'll see objects animals humans you'll see shapes in them as you look at them and practice this for a while but for now I want to say just use circles if there's another shape that makes itself evident to you, you know, if you're having trouble finding shapes in the objects that you're trying to draw, just think about circles. Like right here, I see a circle. It's almost an egg shape right here. All right. And I see another, I could think of another circle here and another circle here. And then here would be an oval out this way and an oval up this way. And right here, the neck could be a circle, an egg shape right here. So that's what I would do to break this down. As you advance, you may start to see a circle here. You may see a square here. You may see a circle here. It just depends on how, how you want to look at it. I'm just breaking it down. There are many roads to Rome and my Riding instructor says that to me a lot. There are many roads to Rome, and that just means there are lots of ways to get to the city of Rome because it was such a metropolitan city. So here we go. I'm going to start with an ovally shape right here, and I'm going to practice the shape before I lay my pencil down. I'm going to hold my pencil up a little bit, and I'm just going to drag my fingernails on my paper. I'm going to make this a little smaller because my sketchbook is a little small that I chose today. I should show you I'm using a Strathmore sketch pad. I don't know if it matters, but in case you want to know, Strathmore sketch. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. Let it flop itself back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this ovally egg shape. I'm going to go smaller. Oh, just did something. Okay, so, and I'm going to make the egg shape. I'm going to just rock my pencil back and forth and just get an idea of the shape that I want to put down before I ever lower my tip of my pencil. And I'm dragging my fingernails on the paper. So if you make any odd marks, don't panic. Draw lightly. I'm going to draw a little darker so you can see it. But right here is my oval that is this mass right here. Now right in here, I'm gonna do another. Only this one will be a circle. It'll be a little bit lower. 
right about here. And then here, it's going to overlap that other circle, and this is the muzzle. And this circle kind of goes on an angle like this. It's more like this kind of a shape, on an angle, ovally shape. And the neck is going to come out from the top of this shape, and it actually comes around, and if I were to draw it in an oval, it would come back around and touch right about here. So it's going to come down and around, and it's going to touch up about here. Now the ears are right here, and if I stick with my oval idea, I can do an, a tall, skinny oval, can even egg shape it, so it gives it that triangle look. But if you're starting to see the triangle, go ahead, draw the triangle. Okay, and here's the other ear. Now this ear is lower on this circle, and you don't see as much of it. So I'm going to draw it It's out like this, draw it like this, and it's going to have a little bit of a point on it, so you can add a little, I put a little oval there to make a little point on it. Now the eyes, if you think of the, the top of the ear, the eye is right below the ear. Okay, now the eyes actually, this horse's head is tilted. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the other eye. If I were to line my pencil up, you'd see that the eye, this outer eye is a little lower than the inner eye. It's right, right here. It's hidden by its mane, so it won't be too much of a problem to, if you make a mistake with that. And then down the top of the head, you can see that X, okay? Now the nostril is over here, just on the side. If you look down where the horse's face is divided, you'll see a nostril, and that's an oval, okay? I'm gonna put the eyeball in, and the other eyeball in, and it looks pretty ridiculous right now. But after I do that, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and attach these shapes together so that it looks like a horse. So if I were to start, I'm just going to start at the top of the ear, and I'm going to add this so-called, say, say this is the musculature, I'm going to add the skin onto that now. So I'm going to add the top of the ear, and we know a mane's going to be here, but I'm going to leave it alone for right now. And then here's the outer side of the ear, going around it, adding the skin around this musculature. Now, I see a line that's going to come down here, which is the opening of the ear, okay? And down here is the horse's cheek. I'm pressing harder than I normally would just so that you can see it. I draw, I draw, I don't carve my paper. I'm careful not to carve my paper because once you make big, big grooves in your paper, it's hard to remove. You can't erase them. So just so you know, now, from the eye, it kind of curves down. It, the curve, see how that curve line curves around like that? It's going to curve in. It's going to cut off some of that circle there. Okay? And then here's the nostril. There's the nostril on the other side, which I forgot to put in. I'm going to put in a little skinny oval there. And then I'm going to come around and then notch down for the mouth. And just follow that line up for the mouth. And then down here is the lower part of the chin and then the underside of the mouth. And from here, I'm going to make the underside of the jowls. I'm going to make this cheek a little bit bigger. Okay, so you're starting to get the idea of the horse. Now, I'm going to put the eye in. Now, the eye is the window to the soul, so you want to make sure that you get it pretty accurate. And if you have an iPad, you can go ahead and you can stretch it up and look a little bit deeper and get it in there. Um, the eye is actually has a line here, and it's kind of curved, and then another line. It's That is pretty triangly looking. So I'm going to just kind of do like three lines like this, okay? And the other eye is much harder to see because under that light where the hair is shining, it's harder to see. So I'm just going to just gonna put the notch here where the other eye would be. And... Now the eye, there's a little dark place in it right here. You can see the eyelashes that are coming out. 
I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to turn it on its side. I say that I use the toe and then I use the foot and I'm going to use the side of it, the foot, not the toe. I've been drawing with the toe. I'm going to use the foot now um, and start adding some details. Now I can see how the main, it's the forelock, the actual main from the back is flipped into the forelock. And I'm going to just go ahead and draw some of this on here. It's going to come over that eye. So that's that eye is not even an issue because you don't see it. You're only drawing what you see. You're not drawing what you don't see. So I don't have to worry about that eye looking perfect. So there we go. We're putting in the forelock. And I'm going to erase some of these lines. I don't need any more. This is a kneaded eraser. It's been used a lot and so just pull it apart and you can go ahead and pinch it into a uh, tighter angle a tighter wedge and you can erase out smaller places so I'm going to erase out some of these lines so we can see the horse's head now it's starting to already look better so then I'm I'm going back in and I'm going to make this nostril and now the nostril looks like the letter d that's another thing i do is i look for shapes that things remind me of and this nostril looks like a letter d backward and i'm going to take a look at this nostril and this is just very thin it it goes opposite of this other shape so it's going to go opposite of the other shape and it's very narrow and thin so i don't even have to really worry a whole lot about that shape i'm going to switch my pencil grip again to go to the foot and i'm going to shade where i see dark areas i'm just going to shade it in shade where i see dark areas the lighter areas i leave them alone okay and you can get as complicated as you want or as simple as you want with this. I'm going to, I'm trying to go simple. Add a little shadow underneath the ear. I'm going to put in some mane again here. Shadow under the neck. I have a much more in-depth tutorial for sale on my link on my bio on drawing the horse's head if you're interested in that it's available so now I'm going to put in a little shadow on the side here the side of this muzzle I'm going to pull this line out I don't think it's accurate I'm going to put it in move it over a little bit and I'll use the foot of my pencil to put in because I can see that line right there horse's face is symmetrical unless it's been injured sometimes the the actual markings on a horse make it look in unsymmetrical asymmetrical um, now the dark areas of the hair just darken in those little sections you don't have to darken in every piece for the braided part this is i think a fun part you can take your pencil and just lay it on its side and what I see are just lines that go like this and then they go opposite you can see let's see if I can pull it in opposite try to put that braid in there I wish you could see, well, I don't wish you could see me drawing but I have got my phone in my way it makes it very hard so please bear with me and throw in the braid it's like an it's like a crisscross like this kind of thing the braid is like that sort of thing and then goes off like that and i'll add a little shadow under here add a little bit of part of the mane i can add a shadow in the ear a little bit more you can see a little bit of muscles musculature some of the structure of the face under here now right here is the cheekbone goes up toward the eye there's some darkness around the eye Some howling in here where the mouth is their skeleton actually their mouths where they, their mouth when their teeth come together their skeleton is like a, a long you know tube actually and their teeth open and close it's and that's what we're seeing here is this long 
kind of tube that they have. And then in the back are their molars. So and add some shadows here and get a more of a line here for where that vein is coming down through. This was a hot day. I was at a horse show, took some pictures. I take a lot of pictures of my own horses also. Um, horses have been my love since my, I was little. I was a little girl. So horses are my outlet. Now you can draw anything using this, this theory of shapes and breaking it down. And I can show you with other, other objects that it is, it is the same. And I want to darken this eye a little bit. I want to see a little darker. This is a bay horse, so it's black and white. And the cool thing about a bay horse is that it has the black, I'm trying to show you the black tips on the ears. It's got darker eyes, darker muzzle. That's the cool thing. I think horses are so incredible the way that they're colored and God made them so beautiful. I think they're God's most beautiful creature on this whole planet. <laughs> so I'm partial to horses if you haven't figured that out yet. I'm going to make that nostril a little bit darker. And I'm going to go in with my eraser around around that. I'm going to try to get this eye a little darker too. I'm using a 4B pencil. It can really take in, bring in some darks. I like a 6B a lot, but I've been sketching more with a 2H, staying a little bit lighter over the past few years because I, I tend to go too dark. I like to go dark with everything. So I hope this is showing what I want it to show to you. I'm trying to get that muzzle a little bit darker. It's got a little bit of a white tip. That's just the animal's markings here. So here it is. When you're done, don't forget to sign your name because that's something that I used to not do when I was younger. Sign your name, you can put it discreetly. It doesn't matter, it looks like hay sticking out of his mouth, but it's okay, it's a sketch. I wanna encourage you to sketch every day. And I hope you had fun at the art stable. My dog is telling me something's going on outside, so I'm gonna leave you now. Thanks for watching.